In this video, we'll walk through an example of the indeterminate form infinity times zero. If we have to evaluate the limit of x times sine of one over x, as x approaches infinity, and we were to try direct substitution, we could write infinity and then times the sine of one over infinity, or just zero. And sine of zero is zero, so we would have the indeterminate form infinity times zero. So what we can do is rewrite this function, x times the sine of one over x. And I'm gonna write sine of one over x first. Sine of one over x. Now, instead of writing x being multiplied, I'm going to say that's divided by one over x. Because if we were to take this denominator and say, divided by one over x, well, that's the same as being multiplied by x over one. And that's what we have right here. So we haven't changed anything uh, in, in terms of the value. We've just rewritten that. But now, if we were to take the limit of this as x approaches infinity, we would still have an indeterminate form. And that is sine of zero over zero, or zero over zero. Well, if we have zero over zero, that also is an indeterminate form. But when you have this indeterminate form, or if you have the indeterminate form infinity over infinity, then you can apply L'Hopital's rule. And that is when you take the first derivative of the numerator and the first derivative of the, de of the denominator, and then try the limit again. So let's do that. So this equals, applying L'Hopital's rule now, this equals the limit as x approaches infinity. Now, first derivative of sine is cosine, so I'm going to write cosine of one over x. Now remember the chain rule and the derivative of what's inside here of one over x is negative one over x squared. Okay, we're done with the numerator. Now the, denom uh, the derivative of the denominator is just negative one over x squared. Ah, look what happens. We get this factor and this factor to cancel out. And what we're left with is the limit as x approaches infinity of cosine of one over x. Well, now if we try direct substitution, we do not have an indeterminate form. That's nice. What we would get then is one over infinity is just zero. So what we have is cosine of zero, or that's just one. So that is the answer. The limit of x times the sine of one over x as x approaches infinity is one.